hi guys welcome to my channel once again thank you so much for joining me today thank you so much for watching my videos i'm so excited um a lot of people have been um you know watching my videos and asking a lot of questions because i have put up the journey of my i-130 filing for my husband and um you know it's been awesome i've been able to help a lot of people which is the main goal for this channel it's really to help people go through you know some things that i've been through and just make it easier for people so today i'm more excited because my video quality is gonna be level up level up level up so um i was able to get my hands on the iphone 11 pro so that's what i'm using today to film this video and i think it's gonna look really good i'm really excited about that so um let's get right into this video but wait if you haven't subscribed subscribed yet blah, blah, blah. if you haven't subscribed yet please click that subscribe button join the family and feel free to ask me whatever questions you have and i'll be able to you know give you my insight you know whichever way i can um but yeah so today I want to talk about some things that long people that people in long distance relationship don't really want to tell you or don't feel comfortable sharing with other people. Okay, is number one. I think one of the biggest thing is celibacy. Yes. So, if you're a Christian, if you're you know um, some religion, they want you to you know they encourage you to keep your bodies um till after marriage right so being that <laughs> it's um it's tough it's a tough journey um people that have been through it you know some people are honest about you know what they went through and some people are just like you know lying but um one of the reasons why people join long distance relationship is that celibacy because when you're in a long distance you are like committing yourself to somebody and you guys are deciding that you guys want to be together and based on the distance you're not able to get too physical with each other so that's one thing that long distance people would not tell you guys second of all it is hard being in a long distance relationship is not for the weak it's not for the faint of heart it's not for people that are not ready for a commitment is not for people that want to play games um long distance relationship i believe like they move faster than um relationship where you see each other you know on a every day or every week basis where you guys are like 20 minutes apart or like an hour apart but in a long distance relationship like it's hard because you're you know dealing with somebody that maybe sometimes you haven't seen in person i mean yeah or sometimes, you know, you guys were together and then one person relocated and now you guys are just like going through the long distance vibe, right? It's really tough. Um, when I was in a long distance relationship, um, it was hard. Like sometimes I was lonely. Sometimes I was just like, you know, I just wanted to be with him. And sometimes like the conversations I wanna have, I don't wanna have them over the phone. And guess what? I'm not gonna fly all the way to Nigeria to have the conversation. So it's just like, you just kind of suck some things up. Yeah, it's, it's hard, it's tough. Yes, it's hard. So I'm just putting that out there. And then number three thing that long distance people would not wanna tell you guys is that we do get lonely. <laughs> Yo, you be lonely because um, when you're in a long distance relationship, you have an understanding with your partner that like, you know, it's not like you can't have guy friends, but you can't have guy friends that are like boyfriends. No, you can have guy friends that you guys can hang out, you guys can, you know, talk, but it's not like somebody coming over to stay in your house for a lot of hours. It's not somebody you're intimate with, right? So it does get lonely because you want to be with your significant other and then like, Oh my god the one that used to get me is like when people that are in relationships like they'll post oh cute pictures and they'll post like you know nice things about their spouse like oh we went here we did this and we did that and it's not like for me personally it's not like i was jealous of anybody it was just more so like oh my god i want to be with my man too i want to be able to you know go to the museum with my man i want to be able to you know share quality time with my significant other so that's another thing <laughs> 
that you know long distance relationship people don't want you guys to know another one is had trying to minimize people's expectations right so when people get into long distance relationship they tend to keep it to themselves they tend to you know just be quiet about it because the thing is you don't want to go tell somebody like oh i'm dating this guy and this that and the third and then like a couple of months down the line um the relationship is non-existent so people in long distance relationship tend to keep it to themselves until things like manifest and things are looking up for the relationship so that's <laughs> it's it's funny to me because you know that's something i did like i kept my relationship to a very few people that I knew and i just wanted to manage people's experience because you know the saddest thing that we human beings do we don't even know we're doing it is like you want to see bad news like if somebody tell you oh this 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 people are tend to wait for the fact that it's not gonna work you know, like some people just can't wrap their head around, you know, someone being in a long distance relationship. So it's like, ah, it's not going to last or we'll see how, the, how long this one goes. Mostly if it's somebody that, you know, they never last in relationships. He'd be like, yeah, this one of your, you know, many experiments or whatever. So people tend to keep it to themselves, right? So another thing that long distance people would want to tell you is, they will actually advise you not to be in a long distance relationship. That is the final. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I went through a long distance relationship. And for me, like, I love my husband with all of my heart, right? But I believe it was one of the hardest things I put myself in. Like, I don't know how to, you know, explain this. Like, it was tough. Mind you now, I was without my husband being married i was we were in different places for a whole year after we got married and then we dated for one year right so pretty much we were apart from each other for two years for me if it's up to me i would tell people if you can find the man here actually like if the man finds you here because i'm not one for finding a man if the man finds you here sister please eh, just collect <laughs> i don't know if this sounds bad but to be honest like if you meet somebody that's great that's you know in a long distance relationship go for it yeah but trust me if you're not ready for the sacrifice like let's not even talk about when the person finally joins you or when you finally join the person that's not even what this video is about it's like the process of you know communication trying to communicate with somebody that you can't see even when you're video chatting like it's it's tough so long distance relationship people we even tell you not to enter long distance relationship believe it or not because it's it's really tough um you know um trying to focus on building a relationship trying to focus on your own personal life trying to focus on other things around you you know um so that's the final thing like they will tell you if it's up to you if you can avoid it i don't know where my nigerian accent came from if you can avoid it yeah avoid people in long distance relationship would advise you not to be in long distance relationship but for me um the reason why i took the bold step into the long distance relationship was getting to know the person that i was talking to like every day was like wow okay this is the person i want to end, end up with okay wow this person is this this person is this and by the time i weighed like you know the sacrifices the short-term sacrifice because long distance has a end date right it hopefully has an end date it has to have an end date so for me when i looked at the the sacrifice of the short period to gain you know the happiness of the long period i felt like it was worth it and to be honest to you it is worth it for me um however you know it's an interesting journey and i'm glad that mine is officially over right like my long distance relationship is over and 
my husband is finally here and stuff but yeah um this was just like a playful video a different video that i wanted to put out there just some things that i feel like some people are wondering when they want to enter a long distance relationship and i just wanted to put it out there let me know if you like this type of video let me know if this makes sense let me know if i spoke your mind in this video but yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment to like to subscribe and i'll see you next time